This is Dr. Calvin Ezrin, continuing our series of episodes dealing with obesity and diabetes. Today I'd like to introduce the concept of diabetes, which is a useful term that's been in vogue for the past 20 years, linking the inevitable relationship of obesity and diabetes. We know now that if people who are overweight and have developed diabetes, if they're taught how to lose weight and keep it off, they can frequently reverse diabetes. And in another context, if people have a strong family history of diabetes and they're gaining weight, they can prevent diabetes by application of these principles of how weight can be lost. I want to give a case report because I think this is something that will illustrate the points that I'm trying to make. I saw a patient in 1989, he was 50 years of age, he was an insurance agent, he was five foot five and a half inches tall, and his usual weight was around 170 pounds. But he gradually gained weight over the next few years because he was relatively inactive. And finally, in 1989, when I saw him, he uh, weighed 215 pounds and he developed the symptoms of diabetes. Now, the overt symptoms of diabetes are weight loss when you're not trying to lose weight, and also uncontrollable urination. So this is the result of a high blood sugar and his family doctor diagnosed correctly that he was diabetic. And he came to me for advice. He was overweight and I said to him that if we could teach you how to lose weight, and we can, with the combination of a low carbohydrate diet and exercise, plus the addition of a sleep enhancing agent called Trazodone, which you've heard about in earlier uh, episodes now, what happened to him was that he lost weight progressively so that by the spring of, two, of, uh, of 2000, he, by the, I'm sorry, by the spring of 1990, he actually had lost to 162 pounds. And he kept that weight off until his most recent visit, which was in the fall of 2006, where he weighed 162 pounds. He had absolutely no evidence of diabetes and hadn't had it for many, many years. He was on a tiny amount of trazodone, which helped him with his sleep and energy. So this is an example of how people who have a reversible condition but can't get at the, uh, the uh, means to reverse it can be helped by an understanding of the relationship of low carb and trazodone for serotonin uh, enhancement. I don't know how much more time I have, but I'm going to say this. The next episode will give you another example of a complication of obesity, and that is sleep apnea. So it's too complicated to go into now, but I want to make sure that you understand there's a lot more to say. Is that it?